Africa is the continent of deserts, national parks, and wildlife. One of the courses of political action entails stopping the spread of its desert Sahara by building a Great Green Wall. The Great Green African Wall, the GGW, would stretch from Djibouti, situated on the Horn of Africa, in the east to Dakar, situated in Senegal, towards the west. Senegal is on the southern edge of the Sahara. The history of this project dates back to the time when Richard St. Barb Baker, a British explorer, proposed a green front to stop the expansion of the desert. He proposed these findings after his 40,000-kilometer expedition. According to his postulations, the green front should be a 50-kilometer deep or 30-mile tree buffer that will serve as a thriving ecosystem to host birds and wild animals. Thomas Sankara, the president of Burkina Faso, was first advocated the Pan-African GGW in the 1980s as a way to slow the expansion of the Sahara. Olsegun Obesanjo, the president of Nigeria, revived the idea and offered it to the African Union in 2005, around 20 years later. Outside of Africa, support for the idea has grown recently. This idea laid the foundation for Africa's Great Green Wall. This idea has again resurfaced during a special summit organized on the occasion of World Day to combat desertification and drought in N'Djamena, Chad's capital city. The leader of the conference and the state heads of the community of Sahel Saharan states approved this idea in the seventh session of Ouagadougou, Burkina Faso's capital city in 2005. Later, it was endorsed by the African Union in 2007 and named the same as the Great Green Wall for the Sahara and the Sahel Initiative. This ambitious plan was later endorsed by the environmentalists during a recent meeting in Bonn, Germany. The Green Wall is intended to spread across Africa that is estimated to be 5,000 miles long and 10 miles wide. These groups have come forward to invest around $3 billion in the plan. The project was even approved by the Global Environment Facility during the conference for the review of the implementation of the UN Convention to Combat Desertification. 182 governments, non-government organizations, international institutions, and organizations from the private sector have collaborated to form the Global Environment Facility. The main function of the Global Environment Facility is to offer grants to developing countries to carry out projects that are concerned with biodiversity, international waters, climate change, and land degradation. The Great Green Wall Project was started by 11 African countries, situated in the south region of the Sahara Desert. The main aim of the project is to contain the expansion of the desert in the Sahel Zone. The Sahel Zone is the transition between the savannas of Africa in the south and the Sahara Desert in the north. It includes parts of Senegal, namely Mali, Maritania, Somalia, Sudan, Burkina Faso, Niger, Nigeria, Algeria, Chad, Eritrea, and Ethiopia. The Bonn meeting is significant in relation to this project as the Global Environment Facility has agreed to invest $115 million to sponsor the construction of the Great Green Wall. Apart from this investment, many other international groups have pledged to put $3 billion towards the Great Green Wall project. Seeing this global collaboration to support the project, the African coordinator for the UN has opined that the Green Wall can be considered as a reflection of the coordination of various projects of international standards for the development of the economy and protection against environmental degradation. The temperature of Northern Africa and even further afield might be significantly impacted by the Great Green Wall, according to recent climate simulations that are performed taking both the region's past and future climactic conditions. Thus. This project might have a greater climactic impact than expected. The simulated results of this project, which were presented at the American Geophysical Union's Autumn Conference on December 14th, suggest that the full tree line might increase rainfall in the Sahel by as much as twofold, while still lowering the average temperatures of the summers across a larger part of northern Africa and the Mediterranean area. However, the study discovered that temperatures would continue to rise in the hottest parts of the desert. Africa's Great Green Wall Project, which is being laid by the African Union, began in 2007, and the progress has escalated to ensure a nearly 15% completion. The main aim of this project is to prevent the desert from moving further south. This project also helps in enhancing food security, and the governments are hoping to employ millions in the region throughout this project. This project's goal is to plant 100 million hectares of trees along the Sahel, the semi-arid region that forms the southern border of the desert by the year 2030. So we're going to have to wait and watch what's going to be the outcome of this project for the entire continent as well as well, the world. And that's it for today's video. So please comment your views down below and subscribe to the channel for more such videos. I'll see you guys in the next one. Then until then, watch your previous videos for more exciting content.